In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at creating easy vintage halftone effects working in Corel Draw. And if we look at fashion design and we look at graphic design in general these days, we see a lot of this vintage look and vintage halftone effects and things like that. The vintage look is very popular both in apparel design and in graphic design. So we really do want to know how to be able to work with and create effects like this very easily in Corel Draw, and we're going to see that in this video. To get started here, I'm just going to come over here and select the rectangle tool. I'm just going to left click here and create a rectangle around my entire graphic. I'm going to bring this up here a little bit just so that it's above here on top. Then I'm going to go ahead and get my pick tool. I'll come over here and right click to take the outline off of the rectangle. I'm going to go to my object properties. I'm going to come over here to fill. Now if you don't have this available you can go to window, come down here to dockers and find that right here and turn your docker on for your object properties. I'm going to come over here to my texture fill. That'll apply actually the first fill, and we'll actually work with that. Then I'm going to come over here to my interactive fill tool. I'll left click and select that. You can see the box here, and I'm going to go to this circle. I'm just going to drag this up so this texture is much bigger so it's not quite so spotty on my design. Then I'll bring center this over here. Then I'm going to go ahead and take this, and I'm going to go to bitmaps, convert to bitmap, and I'm going to go to a grayscale because I want the grayscale or black and white here. I don't need transparency turned on. I'll go ahead and select OK. Now once that's converted to a grayscale, I'm going to come over here to my transparency tool, select that, and I'm going to come up here to where it's set to normal and change that by coming down to screen. Now we can already see we have a kind of nice effect built in here. Continuing here, I'm going to go ahead and left click and select everything here. I'm going to go to bitmaps, convert to bitmap. I'll change this from grayscale to RGB for now and go ahead and select the OK. I want to make sure I don't have transparent background turned on. Now that that's set, my next step is going to go to bitmaps, mode, I'm going to come over here to black and white. I'm going to select halftone. I'm going to change this to round. I'll change my LPI or lines per inch to let's say 12 for now. I'll change my degrees to let's say 22 and I'll go ahead and select OK. And then we'll see we now have a nice vintage kind of distressed halftone effect built into our graphic here. Next step for me is I'm going to go ahead and do some tweaking on this just to make it look better. I'll left click here because we now have a monochrome bitmap. With a monochrome bitmap, a left click is your background color and the right click is your foreground color. Change this to black. Give this a transparent background. Very important this transparent background right now. I'm going to go to bitmaps, convert to bitmap. I'm going to go to RGB, Transparent Background. I'm going to select that this time. Select OK. Now you can see that looks kind of rough, but now I'm going to go to Bitmaps, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. And that's just two pixels. You could do one also. Select OK. And you can see how soft that looks and how you've got that halftone look built in there. Now we go to Bitmaps, Mode, Black and White again. It doesn't matter how it's set. We'll select OK up here and left click to take our background color out and you can see the colors down here for the monochrome bitmap. We'll make that bit transparent background which would actually be your fill. It's kind of reversed from vector. And we could change our colors of the design of the graphic as you can see there. And we could change them also to Pantone spot color for spot color separations once we're working with monochrome bitmaps. Monochrome bitmaps are very unique in that we can assign spot colors to them and change the colors. If we wanted this to be a blue, we could have a nice blue effect, as you can see there. So here we see how easy it is to set up something like vintage halftone effect, working in Corel Draw with the textures and doing some tricks with our bitmaps and setting up a monochrome bitmap that has a nice vintage halftone effect built into it that we can control the color of. So we'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next session.